something was different about this particular morning. There was an agonizing feeling in the air and it caused the mother to breathe harshly. As she paced the room frantically, her four kids woke up from the living room floor and sofa. There did not seem to be enough air in the atmosphere to respond to her kid's question. Is everything all right, Mom? Once walking out to the front porch, there was first shock, then realization, then pain, then tears. Where the sun usually supported a feeling of warmth and relief, this morning shone on a feeling of misery and heartache. The gifts the world once had to offer became more as cursed reminders of a life where a loved one no longer was. The mother came inside to deliver the heart-wrenching news to her children. Their father was now gone. He had been killed in a hit-and-run accident, and he wasn't coming back home that day. The tears that so freely flowed out of the mother's eyes transitioned their way to the kids. As they embraced each other in sobs, they came to find that the sunshine seeping through the windows was darker than anything they had ever seen before. This darkness proceeded to fill their home and their minds. The flowers up front lost their color and the paint on the walls began to fade. Their skin began to lose pigment and their bodies shake. In most cases of discomfort, we can find a sense of remedy. When the body is famished, we feed it. When it thirsts, we give it drink. When it's cold, we find it warmth. And when it's hot, we cool it down. In all of these scenarios, we are overcome with a feeling of satisfaction. A satisfaction that comes from repairing that which is out of sorts, out of comfort. On this dreadful and weary morning, there was absolutely nothing under the dark sun that would accomplish such results. This was a sunny morning that would defy any and all remedies. Everything that nature had before offered as an element of joy and completion turned into an undesired chore that morning. What nature, what life had to offer them was not appreciated nor wanted. What nature was giving them was the tools to keep them alive during that dark and sunny morning, and quite frankly, they didn't want it. They did not appreciate the attempts of the world to keep them moving on with a daily routine, with a daily pattern of living. There was no desire to face a moment where he was no longer present. By accepting what the world was giving them, they would have had to have consented to breathing a different air. They would have consented to the need of eating food that didn't replenish and drinking that which didn't hydrate. They would have consented to continuing on. But in the end, that's exactly what they did. The only explanation would be a power that surpasses even the nature of the world.